Welcome to the first game of 2018. This is Seer Cup Winner Bracket Semi-Final. It is Focus in yellow versus Chimiko in orange. We have a human versus orc on our hands. Both are Korean and of course they both want to go into the Winner Bracket Final of Group A. They are having a group with uh, Sini and Shao KK. So we're a little late to the party since we're, we're not invited for some reason. Level 3 and level 2 on the Archmage and Mountain King of Chimiko who does not go for a heavy push here on Last Refuge. But for mass casters, Focus is coming in with a pretty good inventory, hacking and slaying the poor, poor Archmage. Level 3 Blade Master himself and the level 3 Shadow Hunter as well. Plus 6 Claws of Attack and the Flute. Quite a nice inventory for him as well. Blade Master's damage now boosted, or should be boosted soon to plus 11. Gets a little more experience here on the Water Elemental. And the Rat Spot, yeah, Chimiko tried to go for it. A little mm, risky, but alright. Good choke now though. All the casters are pretty much secured. If he keeps that blocker line up, that could be great. But uh -uh, the forces of focus are too strong as of now. So this forces a town portal as the Mountain King is not strong enough. Interesting building position here for the Lumber Mill, by the way. Double Arcane Sanctum, no expansion. That's the play for Chemico. Big healing potion. And except that, the inventory is almost empty. I mean, of course, easy for Focus now to get this Red Squad. Gets the Warsong Battle Drums, and that is insane as uh, it stacks with a Command Aura. That means everything is boosted by, like, two Auras. The Range Army by Kodo, or by three, actually. Which is plus six on the Walkers. And it's plus 21 on the Blade Master. Focus starting off this year with a kiss from Lady Luck, obviously. Nice how these illusions are scouting, so Focus knows exactly what's going on. Preparing his attack with a voodoo launch in the back, and maybe a little walk to the shop. There's an invul potion, there's a heal scroll if he wants to go for it. Now oh, there's he slot starved, so he can't do it. He has peons with it as well to apply spirit link. And so this is looking fairly good. Lots of farms here. Really interesting. He uh, denies pillaging the keep with that build. Chimika was my hope for 2017. Oh, nice. This burrow. We've seen it before. Who was it? I forgot who it was. Maybe it was Focus versus TH at GCS where he basically did the same but on the bottom position. That was sick. In the end it wasn't enough, but very cool play and this seems to be Focus's go-to play versus Human. Now the piercing damage is quite nice, the first walker healed by the wave and the um, ward here did some good job. But what is the SH doing there? Surrounded and storm bolted. Oh Focus, what a mistake, he's trying to pop him out, but that's not working at all. The Shadow Hunter with an invoke potion has been swapped and now the heal wave of course rattling through. He has a healed scroll as well to work with, but that was a massive mistake by the second best player of 2017 he's trying to go for the revenge on the mountain king now and whoa he saved himself with a bigger heal potion but the critical strikes are coming in only level one though and not the devious level two don't forget about the level two rs though the mountain king is about to fall and if he falls there's no control in this army anymore and snare boom accident style with a backstab and yeah the healing ward is so good for the orcs, man. You can't even describe it. Level 4, the Blade Master. Level 4 point. Oh my god. He's just hacking and slaying away. He's killing the entire army. And that's definitely the win for Focus after 11 minutes in this game. So I hope they invite me now. And the game is already up. So hopefully we get in-game in the next game. And until then we will rely on NetEase TV. Okay, that was uh, an interesting start to the year <laughs> with A, a player being replaced and B, us not being invited to a game. But I think the end fight was quite cool. <laughs> Some good vibes from back then. Yeah, nice to see that. You just made me so happy. That's so funny that you re remember this good old times. Awesome. Keep up your work. Yes, we will do this and we will keep up our work. Thank you, Mr. Love. And shout out to Berlin. 14 months already, man. <laughs> I'm fucking broke, but five bucks are always available for you. Uh, 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 onto a year 2018 with a lot of Warcraft less than three. Damn, son. That's just amazing. I hope we're going to 
have a chance to meet again in 2018. Maybe this time we have an offline event for Warcraft and not for Smash, but all the best to the Smash community as well, man. Kai Cut says subscribe for 16 months as well. So much praise, thank you very much. So the first game was an orc beating a human and focus having three auras in the game. That is, uh, looks like nothing has changed too much. <clears throat> So, is somebody editing the Liquipedia grid already? Nope, so I will do it real quick. Oh, there's a Ruby. Oh, I guess they are updating it. Once again, thank you very much to everybody who is contributing to Liquipedia. Uh, one of the best things that we established In 2016 and 17, I mean, can you imagine a Warcraft scene without Liquipedia now? It's just so crazy. How many people put in so much work to make Liquipedia work for Warcraft? And sometimes we even overcame Hearthstone and Heroes of the Storm in terms of clicks. That makes me happy. Romantic just lost to Soen. Well, that doesn't surprise me that much. Romantic isn't that great online compared to offline. And Soen is really on the rise. I mean, last year I talked a lot about Shamiku, who we've seen in the past game, to maybe become the rookie of the year or the most improved player of the year in 2017. That didn't really work out. But Soin, kind of a breakthrough performance last year with his great success in Taito Esports Masters, uh, qualifying for GCS again, winning Hold Cups now, so it helps. I mean, those successes, they help. And yeah, Focus, I mean, Focus is the big favorite in this group. I mean, there's no doubt about it. <clears throat> in terms of earnings... He was uh, the second best player in 2017 with roughly $23,000 that he won. I mean, a lot of Jara Cups involved with that. Plus the third place at GCS, though. So that was quite good for him. And he finally had this good, great offline run after four years. I mean, the last good run was at WCG 2013 for him. Now, GCS, third place again. He wasn't that happy with the bronze medal, but, you know, the past GCSs, he was always eliminated in group stages so very early on. Really? We're online for 20 minutes and you start race base like, balance discussions? Grow up. It's a new year. Stop with that. Second game is up, we're loading in. And I hope this is better now. Ready to work. Still can't get the pictures, I don't know what's up with that. We have complete. to refresh. Yeah. Okay, this seems to be a little bug, I'm sorry. But we will go in game right away. Match points for focus! With this, Jamiko again, the human. This time starting on Amazonia in the bottom here with an Archmage first, no surprise. This could be a tower rush on AZ or a tower supported early push. Gonna see about that of course creeping goes first. In the upper right we have the guy who has match points now. It is focused, we talked a bit about him and of course he decides to go for a Blade Master. We have seen him play Farseer a little bit recently with Wyvern. But that was mostly against... Uh, oh, on bigger maps. Starts off with a clause of attack, so... He seems to have a very good year so far in terms of items. Um, two shot aura. We have uh, command aura. Now we have claws again. So starts off well. On the other side, Shamiko, very, very helpful inventory as well, with a clause that boosts um, the speed of creeping, plus the Cloak of Shadows, who sometimes a little underwhelming at first, like it doesn't give you stats or anything, but you can hide, and especially if you run away from a Blade Master, 
Um, you need boots, and if you don't get boots, then maybe Shadow Melt is the thing for you. Blade Master comes in for the arrest, and the first backstab of AZ. Can't really wrap around with this grunt to block, so it's just a little damage. Shouldn't delay anything that much further. It was a one borrow attack again. It is punishable, under attack. but with a distraction from the Blade Master, Archmage can't really do anything. He's far away from level 3. So this is not the best Archmage play by Chimiko so far. Run for the boots. And if Focus gets the boots here now, this is disastrous. Did he get the... Okay, he, Archmage gets boost and, uh, boots and dust. So he's safe for now. Focus realizes, okay, um... Now that he has boots, I can't do anything. I need to creep. Tier 2 tech, 60% done. No lumber mill yet, but creeping. At least a little bit simultaneously at the Murlocs. And now he snipes this rogue. This will be his level 3. On the other side, Tomb of Agility and the Spider-Man socks. This is plus 11 damage already. Sick, sick Blade Master. Absolutely the nuts here. Archmage on the other side. Gets a Mantle of Intelligence as well, so nobody can really complain. About this, a little more mana, a little more damage, but the Blade Master is fine. If he steals his apprentice, this would be huge at this denies level 3. Doesn't go for it, so there's level 2 water elements, but great blockings coming out of focus, forcing the town portal again. After, can he get the kill? Yes, he does, and that's level 3 for him, and that, no, level 2 for him. And that only after 4 minutes 30, level 2 Blade Master, level 2 critical strike, and no TP on the human side anymore. This seems to be very, very one sided. We see a Beastmaster, so this points towards a tower supported push, but still there's no lumber mill, there's no ivory tower, there's a lost footman. And Shamika, what are you doing? Running into the rat spot a bit. There's still Windwalk, there's still healing going on. Oh! Has been revealed though. Needs the healing now, Windwalk is over with that. Got, got cancelled, and the tier 2 building's up. This push is very hard. Healing got cancelled by the Quillbees. Good micro by Chimiko, focusing on that. And he just needs to right click. Ah, okay, forces a potion. But now the footmen are streaming into the base of focus. Getting the beastery there, pretty sure about that. The lot will come up. There's not too many summons here, and the heroes are far away. But it's enough to delay raiders, and it's enough to delay and snare, and that's enough to delay the control. That focus will get at the early stage of tier 2. There is a little bit of control now with Hex on the Shadow Hunter. But he gets the Burrow as well. Oh! Archmage died! What the hell? I. Okay, maybe I'm a. Uh, should have noticed that, but yeah, focus is supply stuck now. Can't go for walkers! Oh my god! It just finished and he can't go for walkers. This is really bad, but of course the Archmage missing here delays the ta uh, the progress of Chimiko. Shadowhunter is level 2 with that kill now. I was a little bit too focused on this, uh, on the base here, sorry. I'm a little rusty as well, didn't cast for 5 days. So Beastmaster is back, almost zero experience though. Or back at home. Almost zero experience though. Archmage is back from the tavern. Needs a lot of time to get his mana back up now. But with the clarity that should be fine. But there's no shop. A player's force uh oh. Under Stuff is hurt. He has no shop. And this... Well, this army... Is quite scary with the inventory that the Blade Master has. So it's an interesting game. Focus lost a lot of infrastructure. Can go for some units now. Spirit Link was delayed, Ensnare was delayed. Wommel is coming up because he has almost no lumber at this point. Maybe even focusing on Grunts, but he comes in again, snipes the Priest. Oh, cancels the crit a little too early. Maybe the Priest survives because of that. He does! <laughs> Nicely done by Chimiko, but he's going on to the Archmage. This is the second kill for him, and this time we catch it. Level 3, and what a surgical strike. By focus, this was escaping with a speed scroll easily as there's almost no slow. And even then, speed scroll greater slow. It looked so good for Chimiko, but these two Archmage losses, they hurt. A player's forces are they under absolutely hurt. Archmage is back from the tavern for the second time, but this is so much time for focus. What's the item now? Again, the flute of accuracy. I mean, it's not. 
the best item that you can find, but it's still a good amount of support. It's plus two on the walkers, it's plus three on the berserkers. So it helps, but here comes the push. There's still no end snare, it's in the works. The shop is again very offensive, so an easy target. Not too many blockers or buffer units though, in general the army of Chimiko is quite weak and there's only one summon at this point, which is the Quill Beast. Focusing so much on this shop, mass repair and mass attack, but I think he can hold this if he has enough resources, but that seems to be... Uh, it is the case. That was really, really close, mana potion bought now, and with that, with holding the shop, yeah, that's it, Chimiko gives up. He was way too crippled before, I mean... Archmage losses, greater uh, tier 2 building um, losses. If he plays it a little more careful and takes care of his Archmage better, then he has a good chance, but for this push to work, I mean, the Beastmaster falls off a cliff at like later stages of the game. So he has to go for that push. You can't play it the long run as you can with a Mountain King, for example. So yeah, that's what happens if you have uh, to face a strong Blade Master and a well-leveled Shadow Hunter with super early level 2, thanks to the Archmage kill, then... That's about it. Another new sub here, Mostar, 13 month already, to lots of great streams in 2018. Yeah, last year we had more than 700 hours, that is one entire month of streaming. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be more this year. And hoping for the best, of course. So, first set is done. And let's see. Is someone doing liquid? Nope. So I will update it and then show you the bracket. And then... We'll go into a little break here. So, focus. Wins. Korea, and he is waiting for his opponent, which is either gonna, either gonna be Shao KK or Sini. Both very interesting to watch, to be honest. And I will tell you more about the players after this little break that we do. Here's the bracket for Group A. Now, <laughs> focus waiting for his opponent. Sini versus Shao KK next. Chimiko is out for now. He will be back tomorrow when we conclude the lower bracket, but we will see focus again after the second semi-final. Here's our schedule for today. Zip. Yep. Sini versus Shao KK next and focus in the winner bracket final. <clears throat> see you in five minutes with uh, Seer Cup match two.